One day, Jesus was teaching in a house. Many people came from different cities to hear what Jesus was saying. Teachers from the temple and teachers of the law came to learn more about God. Sick people came to see Jesus to be healed. The house that Jesus was teaching is very, very crowded. Some men came to the house carrying a man on a stretcher. The man on the stretcher was paralyzed, which means that he couldn't use his arms or his feet. The man's friends knew that Jesus could help him to get better. The problem was, there were too many people around Jesus. There was no way they could get their friend to Jesus by going in the door. The friends came up with an idea. They decided to take the man up to the stairs, to the roof of the house. Once they got to the roof, they cut a hole in the roof of the house. When the hole was big enough for the stretcher to fit through, the friends lowered the man down the hole to where Jesus was teaching. Jesus saw that the friends had faith in him. He knew that the man's friends believed that he could heal the paralyzed man so that he could walk again. Jesus said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Get up, take your stretcher and go home. At once, the man stood up. He took his stretcher and left, praising God all the way home. All the people who saw this were amazed. They praised God saying, We have never seen anything like this. Jesus had the power to forgive a person's sins because he is God. Jesus also has the power to heal a person's body just by speaking words. In today's story, Jesus spoke words and healed the paralyzed man. The Bible tells us that we can heal others with our words too. If we use kind words, we can make others feel better about themselves. It pleases God when we use our words to heal others, not to hurt them.